We have this anomaly that's happening here in Southern California. It's when water falls down from the sky. We don't get that very often here. Here and I had to throw a hat on because it's just looking like a hot mess. What's up guys, my name is Leslie. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Please consider subscribing, joining the family here. We love to do reviews when it comes to activewear and I'll sprinkle in a few little vlogs here and there. You can obviously tell from the title what this is gonna be all about. I've been wanting to do a video like this for quite some time and I am very excited to bring the ultimate scrunch booty. Wait, ultimate battle of the scrunch booty leggings. Let's get into it. So we are starting with the first company I ever purchased a pair of, you know, the booty scrunch legging, the scrunch booty legging, the scrunch butt legging, whatever you want to call it. The first company that I ever did purchase a pair from are from Till You Collapse, also known as TYC on Instagram. I did a pretty extensive review on this line. I'll have it linked up here for you guys. The ones that I have on right now, I honestly waited a year. Yes, a year for these leggings to be restocked. I was so determined to want to try them because every girl that had them on, I was like, dang, like these look bomb. I just, I mean, I fell in love with them. What I do like a lot about these is that they have the scrunch booty, but then also that Willow's Peak right at the back of the booty to enhance it a little bit more. So I think it just adds a little bit more um, pizzazz or a little bit more when you first put a pair of these types of leggings on that have that elastic, it's it's an interesting feeling in the sense where when you squat down, you, you feel like it might rip or pull. And these ones, like they still feel a little tight, but like I'm fine, you know, like they're not gonna rip. I've done a lot of leg days and squats in these and they've been fine. Like they've honestly lasted really, really great. What I do like about these, not an overly excessive type of scrunch. There are some leggings out there and I have a, I have a couple pairs here that I will show you later on where the scrunch is a little aggressive and it's like in there, you know, and it's, there's a lot happening and it's just like, and if that's the look you're going for, like I got the perfect pair of leggings for you. But before we get into that, these I feel have a much more moderate, more subtle type of scrunch booty. Like it's not too, too much, but it's there. Cause if you can see here, like it's not overly too much. In my opinion, I think it looks pretty decent. And also I think it's super important to not pull them too far up your butt because then you might pull the elastic and rip it. So I wanted to show you what the elastic looks like from the inside of the Till You Collapse. Not too big of a strip of elastic, which is why you just get like a moderate type of scrunch and it's not too much in your face and like, you know? <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys that. But overall, I think these are a really nice looking, subtle introduction to the scrunch booty legging. And the next legging we're gonna jump into is Gymshark. So here we are in the Gymshark. And I so badly wanted to love these leggings just because of the amount of hype that they got from a lot of the Gymshark athletes. And they really do make these look dang incredible. But for me, it just ain't it. I kind of get like this unibutt thing happening where the scrunch is not even it's not doing anything for the booty. <laughs> just like this, this thing in the middle of your butt. I went for the size medium, but off of the size chart, it does recommend for me to go for a size medium, but I'm not the only person that has talked about these saying that like they just don't do it for them. Some people, they do do it for them. And then some people like myself and others, it just doesn't do it for them. These are a much thicker fabric, a very texturized legging, and they're a lot thicker in that sense. Maybe that has something to do with it, maybe not. It could just be the way that they did the scrunch. I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. This, There's no elastic there, and I don't know if maybe, I got mine without the elastic and there's supposed to be an elastic in there or maybe that's just the way that they do it, but they do nothing for me. <laughs> maybe a little bit, but nothing like that I was hoping for. But if you do wanna see that video of the first purchase I ever made of Gymshark, I'll link that for you up here and I do go a little bit more into, I actually go into a lot more detail <laughs> in regards to these leggings, about legging a whole. But again, this is just talking about the booty. So, 
yeah, not my number ones. Yeah, these are definitely not my favorite. Now on to Elise Fit. First off, it's kind of hard sometimes to get your hands on some of their leggings, actually a lot of their releases, because they're a limited edition release type of company. So it was pretty difficult for me to be able to get my hands on the ones specifically that I wanted. I was finally able to, and it was the pink Barbie boa. I did a very extensive review on that as well. I'll link it up here for you guys. With Lisi Fit, they make the booty, yeah, look really great. These are a type of legging where, the, in my opinion, the scrunch is pretty aggressive and I did mention that in the review that I did it was there in your face it's like dun, 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 dun. I mean they look great they make the booty look really good and the prints and the colors are a lot of fun and if that's something you're really looking for I really do suggest getting your hands on any pairs of the Lisi fit the ones that I have on right now are the lemon by the lighting, I apologize bear with me here I purchased these yellow ones maybe four months ago maybe five I haven't worked out on them once, to be completely honest with you. Like I said, I know we're talking about the scrunch booty here, and I think that this actually has a lot to do with it in what I'm about to talk about. And I, I think it has to do with just the uh, amount of elastic that is in the back of these leggings, that the, the fabric is gathered so much back there that for me personally, and these also have a front seam, so you get some crazy like it's a little aggressive in there. I do like these leggings, I just don't like that. Because I don't mind maybe a little bit, but when it's like kind of like really riding up there, it just gets uncomfortable, you know? And especially when you're doing squats, it tends to ride up there. So uh, I think that's probably the reason why I haven't worn the lemon bite ones because I was just experiencing that. The amount of elastic that's in here, it's kind of, it's a lot. All of that is the elastic. As you can see, how it just really um, pulls up and that's what gives you like that really exaggerated crunch booty look, which a lot of people do like and don't have the same problem as I do when it comes to the front seam that they don't get, you know, the whole, but uh, unfortunately I do. So I, I haven't been reaching for these ones as much as I would have liked. Because the thing is overall, they're a great pair of leggings. They freaking breathable, but it's just unfortunate, you know? Last, but certainly not least, we have Alphalete. I just recently did do a review on the Amplify leggings from Alphalete. They did a good freaking job. I mean, from what like I mentioned, when I was looking into these leggings and just kind of hearing the hype about them before they released them and what all the Alphalete athletes were talking about, the design and the engineering of bringing these leggings to fruition. I think they had mentioned it took about two years to really nail it down and perfect the style of the scrunch that they were looking for. For me personally, I don't feel like you get like that scrunch booty look. I think what everyone really tries to accomplish with their leggings is that you get like that natural look of like a, a wedgie happening, okay? I'm, not, I'm one of those people who would hike up my leggings to go in between the cheeks, right? And I think, and in, and, and, I think Alphalete nailed that look down when it came to these Amplify leggings. So yeah, what I think is so great about these is that they just slide up your body <laughs> and in all the right places. I feel very comfortable in these. And something else that I am just so grateful that they did was add no front seam. So you have the scrunch back here and none of that camel issue happening here. So you're comfortable, but cute. Comfortable, but cute. Again, guys, this is just my opinion and my opinion only. And just with the experience that I've had with all of these leggings, the Alphalete ones are by far my favorite. And if you want to try a pair of any of the booty scrunch leggings, I really do recommend going for the Alphalete Amplify ones. Really, really good. And I also just really quickly wanted to show you guys what the scrunch booty looks like. In the alpha lee ones as you can see here on the reverse side they have a very subtle willows peak that's happening back here which obviously helps enhance the glutes and then they have a very long yes booty scrunch that's happening back here that actually connects to the crotch gusset first put them on squat down very slowly let them adjust to your body but I think that this is exactly what Gymshark was trying to accomplish, but missed it. And Alphalete very much nailed it. And the winner of the ultimate battle of my collection of booty scrunch leggings is Alphalete. I hands down just absolutely love these. I reach for them the most. And to be completely honest, I really think it's the material that they use and the way that it just forms to your body like a second skin. It literally just 
becomes a part of you and they just sit beautifully on the body. So if you wanna try out a pair of these, I really do suggest it. You won't be sorry. All right guys, and that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you did enjoy this video as much as I did making it. I had a lot of fun doing it. This is a video, like I said, that I have been looking forward to putting together for you. So if you guys did like this video, please hit that like button, smash that subscribe button if you guys haven't already and join in on the family here as we're continuing to grow. Very much appreciate every single one of you guys and until next time YouTube, I'll see you later.